Good morning, everybody. Is it still morning? Oh no, it's technically afternoon. It's uh, it's Monday, the 12th of September, 2022. It's exactly well, it's 12:01 now, actually, in the afternoon. And uh, just heading down to my start line. I'm a lot later than I intended. Um, I mean, I, I didn't get up till nine this morning, um, but I should have been out by 11. But I uh, crashed out, put my sofa again, and uh, but so I just took my time getting ready to get out. Um, so. This is, I think it's training session 15. I've lost, I've lost count, honestly. Um, but yeah. So, gonna be starting the run at 12.05. And 15 miles today. So, I think this is gonna be, I think it's gonna take us about three hours to run it. So, yeah, I mean, we managed the 13 in two and a half, just. So, possibly, I think on paper we'd be looking at about maybe two hours 55 actually um but we'll see so is the traffic stopping yes it is so just approaching the start line now that pyramid is down there so yeah just gonna get myself set up and then uh Gonna hit the road. It's very humid today, actually. It's very, very humid. So, might have to slow the pace down just a little bit, just to make sure I don't overheat or anything. But uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Okay. So, just passing through five miles, and that is actually my slowest five miles yet. Um, it's ten past one, so that was an hour and five minutes. Um, but to be honest, I'm not too worried about the time today because it took me so long to get myself out this morning. I'm really just more bothered about actually covering the distance, and I don't care how long it takes me um, there's also a really strong headwind um, the tide is right in again and because, because we're later obviously the tide is late in later every day and because we're later obviously the tide is right up it's brought a huge sea breeze with it which is is good in one way because it's keeping me cool because the humidity is ridiculous my brother was right um, but the headwind is making it slow going so we'll just keep plodding along and we'll see how we get on. We're about to get a super soaking. The huge weather front coming in. You can probably see the big clouds there. The water's very, the tide's very close as well. The water's very, very choppy. People are hardy souls over there having a swim. But yeah, so we're about to get a super soaking. But you know, it's just, it's just that mindset, isn't it? It's just keep going, keep going, keep going. And I'm in a good rhythm, so. Oh god, here comes the rain. Definitely gonna get soaked now. Fun and games. You know, it's kind of weird. Hearing the waves crashing right next to me. It's actually giving me some serious holiday blues. Like, I know it's like this is just the breakwater and obviously like there's... You can only really see the sound when the tide goes out, but... I don't know. I haven't been on a summer holiday since uh, August 2018 and... It's just giving me some serious... I miss going on holiday vibes definitely go next year for sure the rain's not too heavy at the moment I am getting pretty soaked but it's not as bad yet okay so we just passed through the 10 mile mark so about five miles to go um passed through in 10 miles and a total of two hours and 11 minutes so the second block of five miles was one hour and six minutes so we're about the same pace as we were for the first five so we haven't slowed down but we haven't got any quicker either um just gotta keep going now it's uh, still raining it's uh, still windy We've got a strong headwind everything aches my knees hurt my feet hurt but you know i knew there was going to be pain involved when i signed up for this so just got to get used to it but i've only had two days break since my last run whereas now because it's my day off work today this week i'm working right through till the end of the week now so we're not going for our next run until sunday so that gives me six days well five technically to kind of rest up and try and stretch out and everything so this last five miles is going to be quite tough i think but we just we just go with it you know and uh, so if we're averaging today about five, about an hour and five minutes per five miles that means we should finish at about 320 i reckon so that's not too bad considering the headwind so yeah i just got to keep going okay 
just passed through 13 miles and now we're just on the little loop that we're doing West Kirby just start heading back towards Hoy Lake and then just about a quarter of way along the prom is where we'll finish so yeah into the last two miles now and blimey this is tough well we did it now sat on Hoy Lake station Liverpool Barn platform it's got about uh, 11 minutes until the train so wow that hurt that really really hurt especially by the end but I dug deep I kept going and despite the uh, basically atrocious weather conditions I think I did quite well um, so I'm gonna get the 1554 up to Hamilton Square and then that'll take me on to the uh, 1627 to Green Lane so I should go home about quarter five which is going to cut it really fine for getting to dance so I'm literally going to have to dive in the shower and then basically run straight out the door again um, stopped at Sainsbury's and bought some drinks can't get the Lucas Aid open and I managed to drop the bottle of coke so now it's fizzed up like a bomb ready to explode so I'm going to have to wait for a little bit before I can drink that but uh, yeah I, I, I like it I've just got this really intense feeling of satisfaction right now like I did it like okay so it's only 15 miles and for the full distance we've still got to whack out another 11 but that's progress and I've got I've got some time to recover now before um, before we do 18 miles on Sunday so yeah I'm just gonna get the train home here and then uh, I'd say rest but there's no time to rest <laughs> such is my life but no good session <laughs> The adventures never stop. So, I just got back to West Kirby again, running late. Nothing new there. But hey, hi mate. How's it going? Okay. Yeah, all good. A bit stiff, like. Okay, so yeah, just got to West Kirby and uh, on legs that I can barely move on. I've got to start dancing. Oh, I could have parked down here. I could have got in that space. Oh well, never mind. Off we go. Don't know how much you can actually see of me right now, but uh, that's the night at dance finished. My knees are in pieces. Every step hurts, but you know, we got through the day. Um, so now it's just a case of go home and go straight to bed. I should, if I'm lucky, get about six and a half hours sleep before I have to get up for work tomorrow. So it's been a good day. And yeah, you probably definitely can't see me now because there's no street lights on this bit. Um, so we'll just keep walking to the car and then I'll end this when I get in the car. Trust me to pick the bit of road to park on that has no street lights. So you'll be able to see me now just about okay so if you would like to support me on my journey to the london marathon uh, there will be a link in the description to my just giving page uh, for dementia uk which you will find me on um and you there you can read my full story and everything and donate if you wish any donations greatly appreciated if you'd like to follow me on socials you can do so on twitter and instagram at this is neat and all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time